Well, that giant doesn't respawn up there. I forgot to do my intro. <laughs> well, I think you guys get the idea. Hello, everybody. This is the King of Pikmin here yet again, and I am playing Elden Ring. Probably gonna be like 50 episodes of this, so I'm probably gonna forget to do the intro again in the future. But you know what? That's just how we're doing it, I guess. I'm coming to visit this guy again to see it. I don't remember. I can't remember if I saw him again after I gave the lady the golden needle. We got a lance and I messed up. But it's okay. Oh, she's here. I. <laughs> oh, hello again. Something about this place felt familiar to me, so I decided to pay a visit, hoping to find someone here, but I've only found emptiness. Perhaps before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey, for which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. Well, I must focus. Okay. I must stay. I legitimately didn't expect that. I just thought he was gonna have something to say to us. But I'm glad we got to see her again. Continue the uh, quest line, or am I? Because the quest lines, like I said, never end well. So maybe I'm not so happy about that. What were we working on? What, why am I running around Kaidlid? I wanted to check that out. I want to do the catacombs, but I don't know how to get down there. Oh, wait. Why am I here? We have the new area. That's right. The Lernia Highway. Let's go up there. See, because what, what often happens to me with these... Uh, oh, that's, that's the catacombs I already did, I think, right? I think. Yeah, I don't know. But, um... What often happens to me with this game, I've noticed so far, is I forget about a lot of stuff, like, while I'm playing. But then when I go and start editing everything back, is when I see stuff and remember stuff. I was like, wait, I forgot to talk to that old guy who gave me the gold needle. And then I was like, next time I play, I'm going to do that. But I still feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. Well, I know there's a... there's Is, is, Lern, is Lernia the place that Blade told me to go to? I don't really... I don't remember fully. What's going on over here? Oh my. Charging through! Charging through! Oh my. I love that you can, like, hold the charge and just, like, do damage charging by. Oh, I love it so much, guys. You don't, you don't understand. Ah! Oh, my God. We got a freaking giant using magic over here. Smack him. I have to pull out the hammer for him. I want to max out this lance. Oh god, good night, sweet prince. Yo, he that did nothing to him. Look out, knight. Get out of there. We have a temporary alliance, it seems. Look out, buddy. 
No, you got my way. I didn't want to hit you. Okay, let's see if we can actually... I love his helmet. Can I get his helmet? Although it's basically what I have. Just a little more ornate. I don't so much like the thing on his head, actually. Like the, the spike. Oh, he's using his magic. What kind of giant uses magic? Yeah, we're just poking them, boys. We're just poking them. Get down here. Get down here. Got him. Got him, coach. You know what? Before we explore more, let's just get in these caves, shall we? Let's get these items. This is cool. It's like a giant battlefield that we just came across. I just started charging in with my lance. <laughs> that was great. This game, I, I don't care what anybody, there's all these like controversies around this game. I know it's majority positive stuff, but like the game is like truly a masterpiece. I just feel like you just can't argue otherwise. Even if it has its flaws, the game is just like absolutely breathtaking. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about that, because I know there's people that, you know... I feel like if you're hating on this game, it's just to hate on it. And be different, you know? I haven't really checked over there yet. In this swamp area at all. It just mirrors it feel like music's starting up. Alright, what do we check? Oh, that's where I got the map. The map. on us. Oh, wow. I feel like that's just going to take me up to where I had already been, though. Although that's where I came down here in the first place. What's going on back here? Some jellyfish in the cave. All right. We found something, boys. Wait. Very important. Yeah. I love me my lantern. Got our lantern at the ready. Alright, I want to use the lance until I'm given a reason not to. is doing work at the moment, so we should be all right. Get in the pit, huh? Oh, what? Ah. No, not me. Don't poison me. Ah! All right, you know what? We're just gonna have to accept that we're gonna get poisoned. Be better off that way because if I was trying to dodge all this poison, it'd be a hot mess. I feel like we'll just accept it. Like, look at this, it's an actual disaster. Bags. All right, all right. You, do you mind? Let me move for a second. Jesus. That, 
was a hot mess for a second there. Oh my god, I ran out of stamina for my poke. Poke him. Just poke him. Oh my. Poke. It's been a sloppy episode so far. I feel like that happens a lot, though, actually. Sage hood, sage robe, sage tribe. I heard something. Serpent arrow. Bad, so oh boy. Oh, it's one of these? Oh no. I don't have this thing maxed out yet. But I will. Oh, the jump light attack is a thrust. <laughs> Alright, we're not poisoned anymore. So let's take it a little slow again. Because that was just so chaotic, like... I don't want to have to worry about avoiding poison. So I feel like if I were to try avoiding poison, like I said already, I feel like it would, I would have just gotten poisoned anyways. Alright. Screw you, pal. You and your stupid mushroom head. Oh, you dodged it. I'm gonna get the mushroom head. There it is. Oh my god, that I did not think I would be that close to getting poisoned off of that one hit. What the heck is that? Oh, it's just another one of these guys. Something tells me we're going to get poisoned again. You're joking. Alright, let's camp here for a second. Avoid that poison. We got them both. Gotta wait for that to dissipate. Alright. There's the boss. Some tells me this boss is gonna be mad grody. Let's get in there. Clean rock night. Yeah, I did not expect this fool to look so sick. Yo! Yeah, I haven't even landed a hit, I don't think. Yo, that's so sick. Okay, he can be backstabbed, I had a feeling. Yikes. Yikes. Good night. Man, that he was still giving me he was still doing the Lord's work for a hot minute. Are you kidding me? I don't get his armor or anything? That guy was tight. For a second, I like if I was if I wasn't so powerful. I he would have got me. For sure. Because I was taking mad hits. But then, once I landed that first hit, I was like, alright, well, he's not going to be so tough. I mean, how many hits did it take? Three? He had a quarter of his health left. I did my left trigger. 
my Ash of War attack and said good night, and it actually was good night. The only reason I, I was surprised by that boss and thought it was so sick is because, like, I just didn't expect a cool looking night boss like that from that cave that was just all about, like, poison and whatnot. I was just expecting some big fat thing with, like, scabs and junk all over it, just spewing poison at me. But no, that was sick. So basically, I was expecting me in Elden Ring. But we got a sick knight instead. We checked far right last time, so this time I'm checking far left. Good night. That's the way to do it. Just charge into him. And boom! Send him in the air. I love it. If you haven't noticed, we're playing offline this time because we're solo, and I don't like seeing all this stuff. So. I think we played offline last time as well. Can't remember for sure. Alright, let's check out this uh, camp. Charge! Oh, <laughs> double prizes, baby. Oh, I tried hitting the other guy with it. Whoa. Let's try my man. Get poked. Get up. He has a pretty cool looking weapon though. Oh wow. Alright. Bring out the big guns. Fire spur me. Fire monk's prayer book. Okay. That's not so bad. <laughs> That's pretty good. No thanks. Oh, fire spur me. There we go. That's sick. We're putting that on. <laughs> I don't like that one. I never really use the emotes, but I still put some on that I kind of like, so. There you have it. So looks like a possible cave area, right? A lot of bats. Oh, just a light attack kills them. I thought for sure. I thought for sure. Although it did kind of look like... No way. I, I don't want to risk it. Oh. Yeah, I can't jump up there. Even if I did, there's nothing there. I was talking about that little ledge up there on the left, but... There's no way. Oh, wait. But what if I get on that rock? Is there anything where I could jump to from here? No, it's just... Literally a rock at all.
crabs. Is that poison or scarlet rot, I wonder? Probably poison, right? Yo, that did a grip. Charge! Ah! here in Ash of War. Ah. Uh-oh. No. Ash of War, Vow of the Indomitable. That's sick. Vow of the Indomitable? That is awesome. Right, do we want to go into this forest right now? Do we want to look elsewhere? Why do I always end up in the gloomiest places first? Like Kylid and that place with all the screaming people that are tied up. Like swamps and junk. Get out from under. <laughs> Cheese and all. First thing I saw was that darn. Oh, there's a grace over here, though. Let's at least touch the grace. And then we'll go left to that forest area. Because if I rest there. All the crabs will come back, and I have full flasks, so... What do we got here? Smithing Stone 2? Okay. We can start upgrading our uh, lance again, hopefully. Where, where's our lance? It's plus 2 right now. That's it? Jeez, I gotta get that up. Reinforce armor is to up to plus 6. So I need a little bit more, a lot more, Smithing Stone 2s for my lance. The heck? Oh, uh oh. Sleep. Yo, somebody get me an energy drink. Those of you monster hunter folks would get that one. I guess it, it works in the real world anyway, if you're falling asleep, energy drink, you know. I can't believe the last crab after I did, like, after I took in, or took down like four or five. The last one just came out and was like, nah. Oh my. You guys friends with me, or? It does not look like it. This village is done for. Please, even if it's just you, old Albus, hide well and steal your breath. Okay. I know you're coming for me. Stop it. Okay, they're all coming for me. both survive that? I thought I was being pro with that sweep attack. There you go. Another one. Oh, in the head? Oh, 
larval tear. What do you guys think? A rest or no rest situation? I feel like a no rest situation, personally. I mean, the poison's running low. I mean, we got six flasks, probably five by the time the poison's done. That ain't so bad. I really want to go across that bridge, but I want—I need to check up here. Before I... Dude, just keep playing your flute. I don't mind. Really, it's not a big deal. Ah! Ow. Ow. Yo, quit. What the heck? Quit that, you freaking scumbag. Alright. Yo, this guy is... Oh. Okay. No, screw you, pal. Screw you. Yeah, go ahead. Keep keep shooting your stupid fireballs. Keep shooting your stupid fireballs. I'll sit here all day doing this, Jack. I'll sit here all day. Yeah, go ahead. Keep drinking. Keep drinking your darn flasks. I don't mind. I got all day. Oh, now you're running. Oh, now you want to come in close, huh? Now you want to come in close. Well, guess what? I don't want to. Now, I don't want to get close, so we're not gonna. I'm gonna keep shooting you. Scumbag. Yeah, yeah, come get me. Huh? That'll teach you. Jump away, shoot your little fire blasts. Your dumb bell. I was just trying to fight him with my hammer, and he was just like, nah. Not letting it happen. Ivory Sickle. Jumps dark. I, I did here. Let's get off the horse because this guy's camping us over here. That's it. There's not like a, I thought he was like he's gonna be guarding something. No, he's just literally sitting there. All right, let's go. I want these flasks. There you go. I also don't want these guys following me. <gasps> All right, let's get off the horse. <laughs> Don't want to risk that. There we go, we're full flasks again, even after the bell toting scumbag. Another one. Another bell toting scumbag. Alright, guess what? I got a little something for you. I fought your friend over there, so I know what's coming. Oh, wait, no. He's. Oh, no, he's a boss. He's a. Alright, I respect it. He's coming in hot. Powered for him, it seems. That seems to be the usual occurrence lately. Man. I kind of hate that I've been just mopping up the bosses. Crucible not talisman. right there. Reduces the damage and impact of headshots. I wish I had that when people were sniping me in the CO Fria well or whatever. When I jumped off the freaking when I was going after the flask beetle and the guy hit me with a YY ladder stall no scope headshot from across the way. That, that got me killed. I didn't die from the hit but if I had a little more health I might have lived. That's, like, super specific, though. Reduced damage of headshots. <laughs> I don't know. Did I load a crossbow bolt? 
I did not, but now I do. If you're using a crossbow, remember to load them bolts. Let me switch from the, ta the lance talisman as well. I feel like I just explored too much. I feel like I've also said this before, but... By trying to explore everything, I just feel like I'm getting too powerful for a lot of the bosses. Surely later on, there's going to be bosses that are difficult no matter what level you are, right? I mean, no matter how overleveled you get. Like, towards the end of the game, I mean. All right, last place to check is across this bridge. Swing and a miss. Albinaric blood clot. Albinaric, probably. Crystal sword. That's pretty cool. I need 15 intelligence for it. Big dumb head. I don't really like it anyway. It probably does something special, but we can't see it since we can't use it properly. Okay, I feel like we explored that area fairly thoroughly, but... At the same time, I thought I did the same everywhere else, but I'm just always finding new jump, so... Probably not. I definitely think the lantern's still on. I probably can't turn it off while I'm on the horse. Oh no, the, the Kimbo. He's just freaking light me up while I'm down. Look at me, for God's sake. The Lance range, boys. The Lance range. It was, I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of funny. I was like on my back and he was just... Blah, 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 blah. Let's see what's in here. What the? It must be like a developer message. A Rudition guide thee. I mean, you gotta give me something to learn first. There's nothing in here. You gotta teach me. That's it. There's, you know there's something else up with that, right? There has to be. Punk, you're not gonna light me up. Not this time. Your buddy did, but... Not you. Not today. Maybe I can get on there. Ah. Got ourselves a little path, huh? Keep going further up because that's just a pit. It's probably an elevator here at the top. But just another memory stone, I'm guessing. Yeah. That's what all of these towers are. Just a waste of my time. At least to my knowledge. Oh my. Oh no, that's just a statue. 
Dude, I can't believe that didn't hurt me. But I did learn something that that didn't hurt me. A reduction that does guide me. Yo, calm down. I guess all those, I guess we've been to a few of those herb trees. I just didn't really pay attention. It's just one of those guys up there. I love how the upward stab sends them flying like that. It's only if it's fully charged, though. Oh, he broke the pot. Ah. Oh. Why didn't let me call him my horse? What the heck? Oh. It with my horse. Charge! Get him quick! Ah! Uh oh, still firing. Nice try, pal. Nice try. Yulian. Okay, so it's just going to give us some of our mana back when we use it. Although Ruptured Crystal Tear could be something interesting. Roads and the catacombs. Ooh. 
a lot of pokes. Might have to pull out the ham, boys. That's how it's gonna be, huh? You like stabbing in the back here? How about some of that, huh? Here, get up. Get up for me, will you? Yeah. Come on. Come on. I want to stab him in the chest now. Alright, you know what? No, we'll just stab you in the back again. Huh? Is this a joke? Huh. I'll take it. Why is there a bunch of hiding spots? Why do I feel like this is illusory? That just looked out of place. Yo, know, the frickin' repost with the lance is fast. That seems good. That seems really good. Go with the shield up. Just for my uh, peace of mind to see everything. Another illusory. Alright, this one's full of illusory walls. And there's the boss. Alright. Let's go back. I want to explore a little more. I snipped out that first illusory wall. I turned around, I was like, looks like it. To be fair, I hit a lot of walls, and they're not illusory walls, but I was right that time. And you know what? That's what counts. I don't think neither of these are. Both are. Oh, yeah, I can poke from behind the shield. <laughs> This is a girl call, though. I was sitting here just talking all this. Oh, God. Just toying around. Hey, look, I can poke from behind the shield. <laughs> oh, my God. That was embarrassing. We're going to do this whole area with the Lance, though. Even the boss. That's what you get for backstabbing me last time, punk. Oh. Alright. Do me a favor and die. We're not messing around this time. I'm not gonna sneak up on you either, punk. Miss your command grab. Now you get stabbed. Gosh. I can't believe I died. <laughs> With seven flasks to my name. Watchdog staff. Human bone shard. Don't tell me it's another watchdog boss. That would be disappointing, honestly. that thing I can even use that what intelligence does it require it doesn't require any intelligence even though it has like a spell attached to it yeah not my cup of tea anyway oh wait let's lance like I said we're doing the whole thing with the lance I'm gonna keep poking it. just keep poking it. when I'm looking for illusory walls 
Oh god. I should, oops. I should have been looking for pressure plates, not illusory walls. But when I'm looking for illusory walls, I just look for a wall that doesn't have anything. Like if it doesn't, if it has like a lantern on it, like this fire and stuff, I feel like it's not gonna be one. You know what I mean? Like nothing can be attached to it. That's kind of what I look for. Even moss and stuff. If there's moss on it. That's a mimic. That's going to be a mimic. How much you guys want to bet? I'll put money down. That that's a mimic. They're chucking their freaking vials at me in this show. Something's going to be off with that chest. It might, might not be a mimic because we know it, but... No way. Rhea Lucario. Soldier Ashes. There's no way that that chest was just normal. Ugh. Well, it looks like I owe everybody some money, huh? Alright, don't be just another watchdog, please. Spirit Caller Snail. So I'm guessing this won't hurt the boss. Okay. Is that the snail? Oh my. Oh my! Oh, right there. Let's go, pal. Let's go, huh? I'll take you on. I think I'm gonna kill the snail without taking on his spirits? Mm. What else you got for me, snail? Where you at? Right there? Alright, let's get you. Oh my, that's terrifying. That's not a snail, that's a freaking snake's snail. Who you calling in, huh? Oh my. Oh, a crucible knight. Mark my words, I'm not gonna kill the snail without killing all of the spirits that he calls in. Well, I don't know, like, I mean, not like every spirit that he can call in, because I don't know what he can call in. But I just mean the ones that he does call in while I'm fighting them. Crucible Knight, what are you doing working for this snail? Yo, can I get the Crucible Knight as a summon? What the heck is that? That's new! That was a pretty cool boss. I mean, cool is not the word, but I did like the idea of him like just summoning, and it was different, you know? That was fun. And I got to fight the Crucible Knight again, which is always a plus. I'm pretty happy with that. Although I probably could have just... The thing about that fight is it's just kind of a joke, even if you're 
like not super overpowered for it, I feel like, because it's not that hard to find the snail. And if you don't kill the first guy and kill the snail, you don't have to deal with the Crucible Knight, which is, you know, a bigger deal than this, the first guy, I feel like. So all I'm saying is that if, I, if you decide not to fight the spirits, it's probably like just super easy boss, but I thought it was fun. I can't help but check inside here. By getting invaded. NPC invader. It made me get off my horse. Yep. Edgar the Revenger. Wait, is Edgar... Why are you coming after me, Edgar? I remembered what it was that I forgot to do. That move. Oh, yikes. Edgar the Revenge. Oh, but what I was saying is it's the dad of the girl. You guys missed it because I didn't... Because I messed up the recording. But I want to parry him really bad. That seems like a really trash move in PvP. Ugh. There we go. Sorry, Edgar. I guess he went mad. Or something. Or am I wrong? I'm pretty sure... That he's the guy, the father of the girl who gave me the letter to bring to her father in the castle. I think I mentioned in my last episode, or last session that I played, Revenger's Shack. Just a bunch of raw meat dumplings. Um, that she died. And we, we found him, like, we found him next to her, grieving and whatnot, and it was really depressing. But I guess we found him. I guess he lost it. And I don't really know the story, but he's supposed to, he said he was going to hunt down everyone who had a hand in her death, and I didn't do nothing. I was trying to help. Revenger's Shack reminds me of a movie called Revenger. It's like one of those, like, you know, just martial arts movies. But it had some pretty cool stuff in it. Some grappling, some headbutts, you know, the good stuff. Smithing Stone 2. I don't even know where to check. I can't believe... So, I got kind of sidetracked. I started going right. But then I was like, you know, let me just finish exploring. Because I looked at the map, and we're kind of like on the edge here. Although, look at how high up it goes, for God's sake. Just look at this map. Anyways. Um, <laughs> I started going over this way, but I was like, let me just keep following my path. And there's an Evergal right here that I just would have missed. Cuckoo's Evergal. I wouldn't have missed it, I would have come back for sure, but, you know. Oh my. Bowls carrying night. Sorry, bulls. That helmet's doing the Lord's work, though, huh? Great blade, great blade phalanx. That's 
that's a pretty cool name for that spell, honestly. We fought one of these giants over where they were having the war with like the spirits and the normal guys. We fought one of him and he was using that spell. And I, and I remember saying like, what kind of giant uses magic? <laughs> You dumb snipers. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that sniper trash. Nice try. Oh no, the sniper! Oh my god, that junk. God, those lobsters are annoying. Do these zombies and using bells. Oh, it agrees. I was gonna check the cliff side just in case. Nope, it's just a cliff. Whoa. Red jellyfish. Is there something up here? We got these blue, nice, friendly jellyfish. Those red ones are probably gonna cause some problems. a new trick for a giant. Where do I get the critical hit on his butt? Another one. I guess you can't get one. Or belfries.
Oh. You need imbued sword keys. How many do I have? I think I have two, maybe. I have one. Another one free. A free one. Freebie. Now, do we just want to start at the. Oh. We want to just start at the beginning? I think that would be best. Why not? 